So my general rule of thumb is when I'm sizing my injector size in a K-series with the returnless fuel system, I usually size everything right around 50 PSI uh, just to be safe because typically we're going to have an aftermarket pump installed. So uh, what we're going to need to do again is note our base pressure. Again, if we're on the return list, we're going to assume 50. Then we have to go into the injector's data sheet uh, that we're supplied with our injector. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, the injector dynamics data. We're going to assume that we're installing a set of 1050X uh, injectors. So when we uh, go to their website and we go on their actual products, they have all of the data listed um, in format that we can utilize fairly easily. So if we look here, slope and offset versus pressure, this is going to note that our base field pressure here is on the left, and then all of our injector latency is going to be uh, uh, given, uh, given to us directly across this table, and then what the slope or the flow rate is for our injector that we can program into the engine management system. So let's just assume that we have a Walbro 255 fuel pump installed in our fuel system on a returnless setup, and our base pressure is going to be 50 PSI. So we're going to go here, we're going to go, okay, base pressure is 50, and then we're going to go in and look at all these values here, and we're going to see 8 volts, 10 volts, 12 volts, 14 volts, 16 volts for our latency. And then we're also going to see right across from here at the very end, 1145 is going to be our slope or our flow rate for our injector. So we're going to take this value of 1145, uh, we're going to program it right here. So now our K-Pro knows that our injectors are that particular flow rate at our base pressure. Next, we're going to have to populate our injector compensation data here. Uh, so this is going to be our battery voltage versus our dead time. Now, we're going to see a difference here uh, for our battery voltage from what injector dynamic lists uh, because they list 8 volts, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're going to see that this is 6, 8, 10, 14, 16. So we can go ahead and change these breakpoints if we want. We can change this to 2, or I'm sorry, to 12. We can change this to 10 volts. We can change this to 8 volts. Then we can go into our table here. We can actually just set up the values that they're giving us. So just for example, uh, 825 is going to be a microsecond. So uh, K-Pro lists their values here. These are in milliseconds. So in order to have a microsecond uh, into a millisecond reading, we would move our values over uh, three decimal places. So for example, if we have this value here of 825, it would, we would move our decimal place over three values, it would be 0.825. So we're going to go and set up our 16 volt, thing, uh, 16 volt column here of 0 0.825. So when we hit that, we're going to see that it doesn't allow us to have the next um, character over. We're only going to have uh, two decimal places after. So we're going to have to be as specific as we can get.